constructing the cooling tower for nuclear power plant this is the cooling tower the shape of the tower is very difficult to obtain so what we have done is we have taken a pipe a PVC pipe and cut the bottom part as well as the top part into small pieces and we have expanded them such that the bottom area is larger then using the cardboard we have glued it up similarly we made a similar thing on the top portion as well which you can see through this structure then finally the cooling tower is covered with a color paper now let us discuss how to make the turbine and generator take a cardboard coil up totally to form this shape then paste on both the sides then make a pipe and cover it up with a paper similarly you provide another pipe here this is the pipe which is connected to the cooling tower which we have discussed earlier now this is the heat the heat will enter from this and into this turbine the turbine will rot rotate and the rotation of the turbine is connected to the generator through coupling and the generator will generate electricity this is the transmission line the transmission line is used to carry the power generated by the nuclear power plant to the household or to the electric substation now let us see we have connected LEDs there are four LEDs connected in series and these LEDs are connected to a battery source this battery source is also having a switch when you press this button the LEDs will glow this gives a nice look of the transmission line this is the nuclear reactor the new nuclear reactor is initially made in the shape then the outer part is cut and added here and this outside edge is also added towards the end the entire cardboard is covered with a colored paper these are fuel rods or uranium rods which are used as a fuel in a nuclear power plant cardboard is rolled to form pipes two pipes are cut each cut is about 8 cm so you make two pipes and insert them into this foam to form fuel cells this is chimney part the chimney is separable you can separate it you can pull this out just make a hole into the bottom layer then you can push it inside so these are detachable while traveling now there is a small door is made on the top of which a shade is provided and this is also made up of a cardboard and covered with a sheet this is the hollow portion inside which you can see this is the containment chamber or containment structure entire nuclear fuel is enclosed in this so that the fuel is safe and radio radioactive material does not come out no radiation comes out of this complex this is also made with a cardboard you can see a rectangular cardboard is constructed first with the base then with the roof then entire structure is covered with a paper now the entire project is made modular meaning that you can take each and every part separate so this is the nuclear reactor this is the chimney part which you can place here and this is the turbine turbine can be placed here this is the turbine turbine can be placed here and this is the cooling tower the cooling tower is placed adjacent to the turbine and finally the turbine is coupled to generator and the generator electricity is connected to this transmission line the entire project is housed on a flat sheet or rectangular sheet of 1 feet into 2 feet 
okay the road is nicely laid as an approach road to carry different material into the complex the road is all around the plant and the fuel rods or fuel cells are to be placed just before the or in front of the power uh, nuclear reactor so that the so that we can show what is the input of this reactor so this is the overall picture of nuclear power plant